Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the ATI Radeon 8500 video card. This is the 64 megabyte retail version. And what is included in this package is the manual. You get an installation CD, a game, Half-Life, and there's cables included. There is a S-Video cable, also an S-Video to composite cable, and there's also a video composite cable, and of course the video card itself, and it also comes with a DVI to VGA connector. One thing that is common throughout all these Radeon series cards is of course the heatsink and the fan combination here. Below this combination we have the core. The core speed on this video card is at 275 megahertz. The memory speed on this video card is at 275 as well. But remember of course the memory is DDR memory so that actually equals 550 megahertz. Now as for overclocking on this card, well I was able to get it up to the core up to 290 megahertz and the memory I was able to get up to 290 and 95 megahertz. So certainly some good overclocking results there on this card, particularly considering the fact that I did not have any kind of mods or any kind of extra cooling when I was able to get this card stable at that speed. Of course your results might vary. Now if we look at the back of this card here you can see that this card does support dual display so you can have two displays running at the same time certainly increasing your desktop space substantially. You can of course use a DVI cable display or if you do not have a DVI display, you can of course use the DVI to VGA adapter. This right here is the standard VGA adapter. And right here at the very top, we have the S-Video Out connection. Of course, this video card is capable of extending your desktop throughout two displays. And it's done like so. I am right now in the display properties of the video card. You can see that well, I have two displays here. Both of them are actually LCD displays, but they don't have to be. You could have two VGA standard CRT displays or an LCD and a CRT, or like I have two LCDs. Now I'll select the first one and set the resolution here at 1024 by 768. And I can go to the second one here, and I can also set that display at 1024 by 768. And I can say extend the Windows desktop onto this monitor. Now once I apply, and once that's actually finished setting up, it will display throughout the two monitors. So I can basically take my cursor here, you can see here that it will go from that display right over to this display here, and I can basically drag it back and forth from one display to the other display. So this feature is very handy because you can extend your desktop space by twofold. You can just take things and drag them right across. You can see here it's going between the first one, the left one is my main one, the right one is the secondary, and of course you can leave that there. You can maximize it on that screen of course and just leave that over there and of course pop up whatever you want to do on the other screen. So it certainly does give you an enormous amount of desktop space. You can see here that I have the memory at 295 and I have the core at 290. Using those settings I will do a couple of benchmarks here. I'll be using the 3D Mark 2001 SE as well as Quake 3 Arena. The settings I'm using here in Quake 3 Arena are the video mode is 1024 by 768, color depth of 32, full screen is on, lighting is light map, the geometric detail is high, the texture detail is to max, also the texture detail is 32 bit, and the texture filter is at trilinear. And you can see here using those settings, the final result is 165 frames per second approximately. I'm using a Pentium 4 1.8 gigahertz computer system. Let me now use the benchmark program 3D Mark 2001 SE. This is the demo which is downloadable from their website. Again, I'm using an Intel Pentium 4 1.8 gigahertz computer system. The result here is 7,000 
762. What I will be illustrating here is one of the very cool features that ATI, the Radeon series, does offer in their video cards. It's called Trueform. And basically what this does is it is a technology that takes triangular information from a game uh, and internally converts it, uh, the triangles, into curved surfaces. This is very, uh, very simplified. Obviously this is uh, very technically advanced in doing so. However, this demo does illustrate exactly how this is implemented. If you look at especially the heads of these models here, I'll zoom in here on this one, you can see that the surface of the head and the arms are very jagged, very sharp. If you, for instance, enable the true form, you will notice immediately how curved and smooth all the surfaces become. Now I can illustrate this in a wireframe as well so you can really see it. So you can see here that there isn't as many triangles obviously in this. This is without the true form. With it enabled, you will notice that there is a tremendous amount of more triangles involved in the model. And certainly you can see there that the top of the head is now very smooth and this of course is what the model looks like without the wire frame. So a very good illustration here of this technology. Overall ATI has done an incredible job on this video card. It is certainly great at 2D, nice and crisp, of course, excellent 3D quality and of course the dual display support is fantastic. Also let's not forget the price on this card. The price right now currently on this card is almost ridiculous. Consider this. This has got to be one of the fastest video cards right now on the planet. Consider that. Consider the price equals bang for the buck. Bang for the buck, this is definitely hands down the best choice almost for everyone. Now, if you really want to get into some really excellent fast 3D gameplay, as well as I mentioned, 2D is fantastic and of course you have the dual support on this video card. Overall I give this video card a nine and a half out of ten. Again my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also check out my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there be sure to check out the forums. In the forums you can register. Registration is free. You can find out all kinds of information about this product and about all the products which I video review. And of course you can leave your very own suggestions and comments. Until the next time, take care.